Welcome to the lecture series of Power Electronics. In this video, I am going to discuss how does single phase full bridge inverter operate. In the previous session, I have discussed about single phase half bridge inverter and also mentioned the setback of single phase half bridge inverter. Okay, now what do, what do you mean by single phase full bridge inverter? A single phase full bridge inverter is a power electronic device which is used to convert DC power into AC power. So, unlike half bridge inverter, like that, the main problem is that it will use only half of the input DC voltage at a time. That's a major setback of half bridge inverter. So, we never get any powerful AC output. To overcome that, we have introduced single phase full bridge inverter. So, the peculiarity of single phase full bridge inverter is uh, that, it, that it will use the entire DC input voltage, allowing for more powerful AC output. So, that is a peculiarity of single phase full bridge inverter. So, that is a major difference, but the output will be. Both the cases output is the basic output will be square pulse only. Like it will be having positive half cycle and negative half cycle. Okay. What are the major components of single phase full bridge inverter? So there will be a DC source. Then uh, instead of two power electronic switches, we have four power electronic switches. Apart from that, we have freewheeling diode to protect those particular power electronic switches. And that will be fed to the load that can be like a motor, light, etc. Okay, that needs uh, AC power. All right. Now, I would like to familiar uh, the basic circuit of single phase full bridge inverter. So, as I already mentioned you, we have a DC supply. Uh, then we have four power electronic switches. One is S1, then other one is S2, then S3. Uh, also, we have S4. For doing the freewheeling action, we have power diode D1, D, D1, D4, uh, D3, D2. These are for freewheeling action and that will be fed to the load which can be for AC, AC load. This is basically AC load. Okay. Now, I would like to discuss about the working of single phase uh, full bridge inverter. Yeah. So, here, uh, do remember that the power electronic switches S1 and S2 will turn on simultaneously. So, when it turns on simultaneously, you can see the power supply. The current flow will be uh, started through the S1 and it will be directly flowing through the load. Correct. Okay. That means positive, negative. And uh, it will be coming back to the switches, uh, switch S2 and uh, ultimately uh, the current that will be reaches to negative because current flow will be always from positive to negative. So, here we are applying uh, the gating pulse. Okay. Uh, so, what, what will happen? S1 and S2, S1 and S2 that is getting uh, turned on. So, we can see the direction of current flow in this particular fashion. Now, what about the output voltage? Yes, we will be getting the positive output voltage. This is actually happening during the positive half cycle. We obtain the positive half cycle at this particular condition whenever S1 and S2 are on. All right. Yes. Now, we will be turning on. Uh, now, let me clear all the drawings. Yes. Now, we are going to turn on uh, like uh, switches S2 and S4 simultaneously. Yes, what will happen whenever S2, S3 and S4 turn on simultaneously? Parallelly, S1 and S2 should be off only. Right. Yeah. Now, check it out. So, kindly verify the second diagram. The second diagram says that S4 and S3 will be turned on by providing the gating pulse. By using the gating pulse, we are turning on uh, the switches S4 and S3 respectively. At that time, how about the current flow? Now, please verify carefully. So, I am going to check the current flow. Yes. Current flow will be in this fashion. It will be starting. Uh, I'll draw for your convenient way, convenient fashion. Yes. So, in this fashion, current flow will be uh, started and it will reach us to S3. Okay. Uh, then what will happen is uh, it will pass to the load. Uh, then it moves to uh, the, the S4. Correct. Uh, then ultimately, uh, it will be reached us to the negative end of the supply. Okay. So, at this condition, S3 and S4 will be activated. So, current flow will be in this fashion. So, what is the final impact? Ultimately, uh, see the direction. Direction will be like a negative to positive. That means voltage will be getting reversed. In the previous case, we have got voltage as positive, but in the second case, we got the negative. So, now I'll be marking the voltage. Please observe carefully. Yes, you can see the voltage will be reversed. We can see the current direction. Look at the direction of current, load current and uh, the direction of uh, like uh, input current that will be different. So, uh, the voltage will be uh, negative, right? So, uh, ultimately, uh, 
uh, we we have like two condition during the first condition you can see the direction of uh, source current and load current will be same so we are obtaining the positive output voltage but in the second case uh, the direction of source current and load current will be different uh, therefore uh, we are getting the negative output voltage the cycle will be repeated okay you can see the cycle is getting repeated and uh, we are able to get the uh, like uh, yeah, alternating voltage but the square shape is square wave only okay for sensitive load we are we cannot recommend uh, this particular square pulse inverter we'll be going for like a sinusoidal uh, inverter in that we require a modulation uh, that we are going to discuss in detail in the coming session okay for the betterment i have explained during positive half cycle what is going to happen okay positive half cycle uh, s1 and s2 see s1 and s2 will be on uh, during negative half cycle s3 and s4 will be turned on so this uh, like a uh, sequence you please go through that all right Now tell me what are the applications of single phase full bridge inverter. We have UPS, uninterrupted, uninterruptible power supply. Then uh, even uh, this full bridge inverter can be used to solar power system, EV charging, EV charging application, uh, then home inverters, uh, heating, ventilation and cooling system. These are the major applications. So ultimately, uh, in this session, we discussed about uh, why we why we require a single phase full bridge inverter. Why can't we go for a uh, single phase half bridge inverter what are the major differences i discussed initially uh, later I, I i have yeah, i have given a brief idea about what are the major components used okay then i introduced uh, how does it work uh, so the first case uh, like uh, you will be getting the positive voltage as an output in the second case we are getting the negative output even i mentioned the reason as well okay so applications also i have enlisted uh, ultimately uh, thank you for watching this video Happy learning. Have a great day. In case any queries, you can put up in the comment box. So I'm going to answer back. Happy learning. Happy